channel so in today's video i'm going to be doing a chatty get ready with me kind of video so i'm just going to be answering questions that you guys sent into my instagram and putting on my makeup basically so without further ado let's get on with the video okay so i'm going to start off with putting my bandana on so my hair stays out of my face while putting my makeup on because that is the worst thing okay so i don't look very attractive right now but I'm just gonna have to deal with it so first I'm just going to start off with primer, so I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution Ultra Face Based Primer and basically just dotting it all over my face. And now I'm just going to rub it in with my fingers because I think primer goes into my skin better when I just rub it in with my fingers. I really like how primer makes my skin silky and smooth. It just feels so nice. So now I'm going to be moving on to my foundation. So I'm going to be using my trusty L'Oreal True Match foundation in Golden Ivory. So I'm going to put a bit on the back of my hand. I'm only going to do like a pump. Get my beauty blender and just blend it in. So I've got a mirror on my lap by the way, which is why I'm looking down. I actually don't think I need all of that foundation. And I'm just going to blend it in. Actually, I'm going to answer some questions. That would be good, wouldn't it, really? Okay, so... I'm going to get my questions up and then answer them while I'm doing my makeup. I assume, yeah. If you could live in one TV show, where would it be? Um... Okay, so... I would probably have to say Gossip Girl based on the fact that it's New York and I absolutely love New York. Um, I would say Pretty Little Liars but I wouldn't want to live in Rosewood and have like A around me. But yeah, just living in Manhattan and having Blair Waldorf, like, I love her so much so I'd probably have to say Gossip Girl. And then I could see Chuck Bass as well, so, you know. If you could go anywhere in the world, where would it be? Um, definitely New York, and I would love to visit Australia. Um, right, I'm going to blend it down my neck. Do you have any regrets with your subject choices for GCSE? I really don't like Spanish anymore. I used to really enjoy Spanish, but now it's it's really repetitive and boring and it's so difficult now, I think. So I've kind of given up with trying and it's bad, but it will. I don't like art. I gave up on art ages ago literally the beginning of year 11. I like media, um, like graphics due to the fact that it's mainly coursework so if I do bad in the exam my coursework should bump it up because I'm I nearly got four marks on my coursework so far. Right now I'm gonna put on my concealer which is my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer Um, yeah, also sorry for the inactivity um, like on my YouTube, but as you know, I've got my GCSEs in, well my Spanish is next month, 
So they are very, very soon. They are creeping up on me a lot quicker than I imagined. Um, so yeah. To be fair, I haven't really done much revision, so I don't know why I'm saying I don't have much time because I could have easily made a video, but um, yeah. But yeah, I'm looking forward to the summer because it's crazy to think that in three months time I would have finished school already and that's just mad. Like, very excited but very strange that I won't have to go to secondary school again. Although I'm staying at my school sixth form so I won't really be leaving. But yeah, it's not going to be much of a difference because I'll still see like all the year sevens and like the younger students and I'll still see all my teachers. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to college, not going to lie. What do you want to do for A-levels? Okay, so like I just said, I'm staying at my school sixth form. Hang on, right, I'm going to use my hula bronzer. Um, yeah, that one. Um, what am I saying? A-levels. Yes, yeah, so I'm staying at sixth form and I'm going to take media studies, um, English, literature and language, which is one course at my school, and photography. Um, I was looking into doing an EPQ. If my school wants students to do four, um, so if they want me to do four, I might do an EPQ which is an extended project diploma thing. You can do anything for it. You could write like an essay or something. Um, I don't know too much about an EPQ. Um, I need to look into it a bit more if I am going to do that. But yeah, I'm really excited to start photography as a course because um, photography is something I would love to do as a career or something in media production, like in the media industry. And a lot of my friends are doing it as well, so it's definitely going to be really fun. I started watching um, Victorious on Netflix because I used to love watching Victorious when I was younger. <laughs> and it's actually such a good TV show. Ariana Grande is so cute. What advice would you give to someone starting a YouTube channel? The equipment, the content, social medias. Um, so I'm not like a big YouTuber or anything, so I'm not the best to give advice. Um, <laughs> but I started making videos on my phone, not gonna lie, and then my mum got a camera. So this camera that I use is actually my mum's for photography, but I use it for my photography and to make videos. Um, so just start on a phone and I used iMovie on my phone to edit. Um, content is honestly dependent on what you want to post on your channel, so if you're into beauty and makeup, you could go down that route. Um, if you're into school and revising, you could be like a study YouTuber, because I know a lot of my friends do that. Be more of a lifestyle one, you could have photography content, there's lots of variety on YouTube basically and you don't have to stick to one kind of category, you can mix and match it all the time. Um, if you want to do YouTube, just do it. So the majority of my year know about my YouTube now because someone found it and told everyone <laughs> but I don't actually care anymore, like people know I do it, so what? I get the occasional like, oh can I get a shout out or when you next uploading Tegan um, and then people are like how much money do you make and I'm like I don't make money off YouTube you have to get a certain number of views um, yeah if you do want to do YouTube for the money don't bother starting because you have to get um, a ridiculous amount of views to start getting paid now that they've changed the regulations so bear that in mind um, honestly just pick up your phone and just make something and then if you enjoy it, you'll carry on making it. If you have like the passion to do it, then your channel will be a success. But whether success to you is the amount of subscribers you have or 
if you're happy in yourself doing it, then go for it, honestly. What do you want to do after school? Um, yeah, like I said, I want to stay at my school sixth form. Whoa, that's quite dark. Um, do media, English, photography. And I don't know if I want to go to university. My school is awful at helping you decide what you want to do after six for more college. We've had small like career advice sessions with the careers officer at my school and I was talking to her and I was saying I'm not too sure what I want to do with my life after school um, like meaning university and apprenticeship um, things like that and then she was saying make sure you consider going to university don't just close your mind about it and I was like I'm not I just don't know what else is out there for me hinting if she could give me advice but she didn't. She was just like, well, keep thinking about university. But I don't know if university is for me. That's the thing. Like, I know that you don't have to go to university. I know that there's things like apprenticeship, apprenticeships, um, things like that. And that might be better for me. My local university does this, this photography course. And it's like editorial photography. Looking at it. And it looked really good, but I don't know if I want to go to university or not. So yeah, I've got thinking to do. Also, I'm sorry if you can hear like someone lawnmowing. I think my dad's outside lawnmowing and there's a window open. I also need to do an English essay, but I can't be bothered. So I'm filming this instead. Then I'm going to just use the gimme brow to set my eyebrows. Also, I get my braces off next month. In exactly a month's time, I will have my braces off. And I'm so excited to get my braces off because I've had them since year seven, which is ridiculous, I know. I'm gonna use this collection Nude Rose Eyes Uncovered eyeshadow palette. I'm also really sorry about the lighting because I'm using natural lighting. It goes really light and bright and then it goes dull because the sun goes behind the clouds, so. Just gonna have to put up with that. I actually can't get over the fact that I finished school in three months time. I think that's crazy, honestly. Like, I can't get my head over it. Um, let's put a bit of pink shimmer. I don't know what look I'm going for either, I'm kind of just making it look nice. I need to answer some questions. Um, what made you want to start YouTube? Because I've always watched YouTubers and I always thought that would be really cool if I did that. And then one day I think I just did it. I don't think I had like any reason to behind it. I was literally bored and then I thought, hey, let's do a YouTube video. So I kind of did. So for mascara, I'm going to use the Benefit Roll Lash Mascara. This is one of my favourite mascaras ever. It's so good. I think it's really strange though, because I posted my first YouTube video April last year, and people have literally only just started finding out. I don't mind that people know. Didn't really want to tell them. I don't know why. It's not something that I just thought I would bring up. Like, hey, I have a YouTube channel. Um, for lips, I'm going to be using this girl power liquid lipstick that I got in my Betty box but I've never got the chance to try it out why not try it out in this video it's a matte liquid lipstick I'm gonna try putting this on first then I'll answer more questions that's a really pretty colour
Okay, I really like this. This is actually really nice. Okay, so it is on and I really like it. Why haven't I tried this liquid lipstick sooner? It's so pretty. This is the finished look. Really like it. I'm going to take my hair out and give it a brush. So yeah, this is the finished makeup look. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below. That would mean so much to me. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!